and you tried. You tried. You tried, though. We shall never die a painful death. We shall never be victims of circumstance. We shall never die untimely death. No evil shall befall us or any member of our families. We use ourselves as a point of contact to everybody out there who are related to us. We shall know no evil. We shall see no evil. We shall witness no evil. So, my people, um, for the past, um, it's, it's, it's up to three days now that we lost. We lost precious people. And where is it from now? You will get to understand and, and realize that this life is nothing. I'm going for why on him Oh, when you were bo, this, this, it's nothing here. It's nothing. All of us, I, I, I be already. I know, say I am now. But the, the question is, the one you know, take it to any. You want to go? So let's. I don't want to go further because I don't want to discuss anything or talk about anything that had to do with. Our past experience these past few days because it's quite traumatizing i've not slept well that's why i'm on google i've not slept well i've not i've not reasoned well i'm beginning i'm just realizing i'm just asking questions like oh to i can marry you oh to i'm not like that somebody man on what if and nothing nothing you just woke up in the morning take you know have your bath eat food and then go out to work hard to be able to Put food on the table of your family and then it's so painful but nevertheless the essence of this video is to appreciate each and every one of you you tried but God knows the best God knows the best so like I said this video is not to talk about what happened during the time we lost people this video is to speak with those who love me those who has reached who have reached out who, who cared who a lot of calls a lot of messages on my instagram on my uh, tiktok here on facebook trying to reach out to me trying to know how i'm feeling i am perfectly fine but you know, sometimes I, if I remember, the, because I was, I was presently there when everything happened, I, you know, then when I remember everything that happened, it's like a movie. It's like a movie. It's, it didn't even like say a film, we happen. But you know, in all situations, we don't have to question God. But is painful and then as we're crying about our losses and all the things that we've been passing through another one surfaced you know about prophecies you know but for me prophecies are for redemption whatever it is that anyone be you a pastor be you a native man or whatever you are whatever you serve Whenever you, whenever you see anything about anybody and it's being said out, it's for redemption. God, um, God opens the eyes of people that sees to say it out for you to be redeemed. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of destiny. Nothing can ever happen to me. I'm a strong woman. And not just that, my, my, my people are strong. My guardian angels are strong. The people who God, whom God sent after me to take care of me are strong. So nothing will happen to me. But the most important thing is that whatever it is that you serve, serve it with everything you have. And most importantly, 
do not hurt anybody. Because when you hurt people and they try to hurt you, you can't escape it. But when you don't hurt anyone, my late father once told me, my child, let your hands be clean. Once your hands are clean, no evil shall ever befall you. When you name me, name me. Manam boso buna imegi dewe romado. Don't even ever be seen in a table where they are planning to do wrong to anybody. Don't ever be seen. Because the day you try it, that is the day you begin to experience your downfall. And those words have been stamped into my head. I want to use this medium to cover everybody on this life with the blood of Jesus. And I pray that God Almighty in his infinite mercy will continue to bless each and every one of us. We shall never die a painful death. We who have reached out to me concerning the videos from two different prophets who talked about me. I also want to say thank you to them for the prophecy. But I also want to let them know that I'm a child of destiny. I'm a child of God. And so if what human being says in my life will never come to pass. What human being plans against me negatively will never come to pass. It is only that which God will believe which you call Almighty in heaven, the only man that created heaven and earth. He's the only one that will speak in my life and it comes to pass. The word of God said, Who is that who speaketh and it comes to pass when the Lord Almighty have not spoken? Nobody. So as it is, my people, I appreciate you all. I thank you all for your, your constant of love and support. I thank you all for the prayers because I'm, I'm sure that each and every one of you out there prayed when you, you heard that incident. Everybody prayed in their hearts that let this be a prank or let this be a joke. But it's quite unfortunate that it ended, it ended up to, to come out this way. It ended up this way. But it is well. I will urge each and every one of us because our own come out this way because we are celebrities. We are known. People want to say, ah, this is what is happening to this person. What about those who are not celebrities? What about those who are not known? They pass even they pass through a lot, even more than us. But no one talks about it. No one talks about it. I mean, no nobody speaks about it because they are not in the limelight. Nobody sees them, nobody knows. So I think this is an avenue for each and every one of us to soak ourselves. <laughs> I love every one of you. I appreciate every one of you. I say may God Almighty continue to be with you all. And thank you all for your calls, your love, your support, your push, and everything. I totally, I sincerely appreciate each and everything. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you all. It is well. Bye. Whatever you think, or whatever you think God has placed you in life, and you forget your chi, your God, who has made you who you are. Your own is God. I'm not scared. I'm not scared because I know who I'm with. They say one with God is majority. I'm with my God. And I have absolutely nothing to be scared of. He's angry with me. God is angry with me. That's the only time I'll start shaking. I'll start, because a lot of people have reached out to me. Oh, Destiny, are you fine? Destiny, I wonder how you'll be feeling this, this period. Is everything all right with you? You know, I am perfectly okay. I haven't wronged anyone. I haven't done any evil to anyone. So nothing, absolutely nothing that anyone does would ever walk so you might ask no you would choose or what one way and also when i'm on a team said i work in line with my god and as a matter of fact he works before me he's behind me he's by my side i am protected so this is for my lovelies on facebook on instagram 
on all platforms who call who try to reach out to know how are you doing destiny how is everything you feel okay because of the prophecies online i am perfect and yes we've been grieving with the mourning because it's quite a tragedy but it is well i haven't come here to talk about the losses i've only come here to appreciate those who really have checked up on me who cared about me one second please okay the people who who always reach out to me who cares about me who wants to know if destiny is fine so these are the people um i'm actually uh reaching out to as well you know because this is an avenue for me to also reach out to you guys it's not been easy nollywood lost something this period or nollywood nollywood did not lose one we did not lose two. We did not lose three. We did not lose four. We lost five. Five. It's so disheartening. It's so painful. Manona Akama, that's everybody, whatever you think you are, whoever you think you are, whatever.